points that we want visitors to take away is how to decide whether something is fake or not. And this really depends on context and the value that we put on something and whether that then makes it real. So one of the artworks in the show is De Samlung by artist Heller Beardsley. She created these fantastical creatures out of clay, which in her art gallery appeared really fake to her. But when she displayed them within a museum context within Germany, it was really hard to differentiate the real organisms with the fake. In Science Gallery, we've displayed them alongside real organisms provided to us by Inuit Galway. And we really want visitors to think about the impact that context has on whether you believe something is real or fake. So this piece is called Vapor Meat, a work that deals with this idea of that uh, we can actually start to vape uh, meat, lab-grown meat. People would be able to inhale the substance of the animal. And, you know, it can be mouse, it can be panda bear. Or it, it talks about this kind of new area of uh, growing meat in the lab, but also about the fact that it is a beginning of a, a techno bubble. Within the techno bubble, we, we often talk about this idea of vaporware. So startup companies are the head of substance are uh, trying to sell ideas to venture capitalists and we're basically literally making vape out of meat in order as, as a kind of hoax uh, startup company. Janusz Janta was a far-right politician in Slovenia and three artists legally changed their names to Janusz Janta, Janusz Janta and Janusz Janta. We have one of their artworks which are these Coca-Cola bottles that they have signed in the back that really make us question around authenticity around self and changing your name and also questions around the differences between copyright and trademark of a name. They chose the Coca-Cola bottle because you're able to personalise it with your own name but they've signed the back so that it is authentic and only made by them. It's a piece that examines the loss of faith and trust as a result of the global financial crisis. It takes the form of a champagne glass pyramid at the top of the pyramid is a block of coin. And these coins are minted out of the rare earth element gallium. They melt at human body temperature. And above the block is a Bitcoin miner. It's blowing a bunch of hot air. And this hot air uh, is slowly melting these coins. And the coins trickle down into the champagne glass pyramid. We can think about the material value of the coin the immateriality of Bitcoin, this idea of toxic assets, this idea of trickle-down economics, and the precariousness of a champagne glass pyramid that any minute could come crashing down. Quantum Fake is a virtual reality piece by artist Libby Heaney, where visitors can experience a virtual reality world, and the theory of it depends on the theory of quantum physics, and really depends on whether we can replicate something based on whether we've seen it before or not. Um, I can't tell you too much about the piece, so you'll really have to come in to experience it for yourself. So we also have a beautiful light sculpture within the gallery called Great Artist Steel, Real Art Is. And the interesting thing about this piece is that the artist says that actually artists have copied his work. And it's really questioning the value that we place on copied artwork and whether original ideas are more valuable than copied fakes. The inspiration behind the project is the research that the organization Revive and Restore is currently doing in California, which is trying to de-extinct five different animal species, and one of their projects is based on the passenger pigeon. If we can actually de-extinct animal species, should we do it? And it's essentially looking into the ethics of it. And even if we do the extinct those species, aren't they just fake copies or the original ones? The species developed within the environment and if the environment now doesn't exist anymore, then we will just have like a 21st century pigeon. And it also provoked a de debate around fake and original, which I think it's a debate that has been going on in the leather industry for quite a while. So when we consider whether things in life are fake or not, it really depends on the context in which they're displayed and the value that we ourselves put on them. So in the case of money, it's real because we believe in it and that's what we want people to think about as they leave the show.